Today, we take a look at some new information on the Navi 22 chip, and I try to find out how this GPU compares to its competition. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. All right, so first, I know that GPUs are scarce, and I know that you probably won't get one this year unless you go through rigorous refreshes throughout the next months, like our buddy Frank Azor. But something new popped up for the upcoming GPUs, and it's kind of my thing to talk about it. And today, I even got some weird back of the envelope calculations to share with you guys. But first, the news, and it's about AMD's mid range RX 6700 XT and 6700. These two GPUs are not based on Navi 21 aka Big Navi, but on a severely smaller RDNA 2 chip, Navi 22. According to currently available information, Navi 22 would start at 40 compute units. This would be the 6700 XT. At 40 compute units, we're looking at the same amount of stream processors as the 5700 XT, aka 2560. In terms of clock speeds, it was previously seen that this chip could go all the way up to 2.5 gigahertz, which is pretty insane, but we'll get back to that. In terms terms of memory, we received another sort of confirmation from Patrick Schur over on Twitter who has been super accurate on AMD stuff. He says that Navi 22, at least for the 6700 XT and non-XT, we would see 12 gigabytes of GDDR6. And lastly, for power consumption, it would have a TGP, which is power for the chip and memory, of between 186 to 211 watts for the 6700 XT and 146 to 156 watts for the 6700. So those were the specs, but how would a 6700 XT compete against a, let's say, 6800 or an RTX 3070? Well, that's where we uh, crack our bones, grab a piece of paper, and start doing some napkin math. If you don't like speculation slash predictions based on leaked information, this video might not be for you, so you've been warned. First, we compare apples to apples. So that's AMD versus AMD slash 6800 versus 6700 XT. First, we check the compute unit count against one another. In that case, the 6700 XT has 2560 CUs. The 6800 has 3840. So the 6700 XT would be about 66.6% .6 repeating the performance of the RX 6800. But here is where we get back to frequency. Navi 22 has been leaked through AMD's Rock M document to have 2500 megahertz max in terms of clock speeds. I know it sounds crazy, but in that same firmware from last September, Navi 21 was rumored to top out at 2200 megahertz. In the end, it was fairly accurate. The 6800 XT has an advertised boost of 2250 and the 6800 of 2105. And in practice, AMD GPUs even exceed those clocks at an average of 2340 megahertz during gameplay for the 6800 XT and 2280 for the 6800. I got those numbers from frequency plotting by Gamers Nexus, by the way. And on top of that, the current highest overclock on air for a 6800 XT is 2650 megahertz. So yeah, at this point, it wouldn't be so far-fetched if a smaller die, aka Navi 22, could pull this high of clocks, especially when the documentation points towards it. Anyways, when I normalized for both compute unit count and the alleged clock speeds of 2500 megahertz, the RX 6700 XT would be about 73% of the performance of an RX 6800 if it scaled perfectly. But I think it's a good baseline. After that, I used the hardware unboxed 18 game average at different resolutions, and the 6700 XT, when compared to the RTX 3070, would be about 80% of its performance at 1080p, 75% at 1440p, and about 83% at 4K. That's pretty good for a mid range car. Now, of course, there are other factors like memory speed, infinity cache size, etc. that could potentially bring these numbers down a few percent. But hey, if you think I made a big mistake somewhere, let me know down below. This is just another way for me to play cool math games. Now, I know what you might be asking next. What about the competition, the RTX 3060 Ti? Well, thank you for asking. When compared to the 3070, it has a better ratio of cores. Instead of 66% of the cores of its bigger brother, like with AMD 6800 versus 6700 XT, the RTX 3060 Ti would, and this is from current leaks, it would have 82% of the 3070's CUDA cores at 4864. 
the hiccup here is that the clocks are allegedly slower. Apparently, these 3060 Ti would have a boost of 1665 megahertz. In my calculations, I gave it a boost of about 200 megahertz on top of that, since Nvidia's RTX 3070 also boosts over the advertised boost specs by that amount. So this gives the 3060 Ti a hit of about minus 5%. These calculations mean that it would be about 78% of the performance of an RTX 3070. With rumors that the 3060 Ti would be around 2080 performance, I double checked with various reviews and this number seems to check out. So to conclude, the 3060 Ti and the 6700 XT seem to be competing for about 80% of the RTX 3070's performance at mid-range prices, hopefully between 379 and 429. According to my wild uh, calculations, the RX 6700 XT though might pull in the lead for raster performance. From what we've seen, not in ray tracing. What is for certain is that you will probably have to wait until next year to find out for sure. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for my predictions slash discoveries. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I know this isn't my typical type of content, so let me know down below if you like more of it and make sure to let me know if you run those calculations too. Drop it in the comments so I can uh, sort of compare. Don't forget to click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel, stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.